Carol here. I'd like to give you a demonstration of one of my newest scrapbooking tools. Um, I ordered this e-brush from createandcraft.com. It was $99 and you get the e-brush system along with six different adapters for six different type alcohol pens and you also get the siphon, siphon adapter kit. This is very uh, this is really cool. If you haven't used either one of these before or you have bought it, you've gotten it in the mail, you set it up and you stuck your either your alcohol markers or you use the siphon system and you're all excited to start spraying things and guess what? Nothing worked. So, I'd like to show you how um I'm not going to show you the siphon one in this uh, video. I'll show this in another one because this can take some time. I'm just going to demonstrate how the e-brush works with various alcohol markers. It's, it's a really amazing tool when you get it to work, but it can be a little fiddly. So if you bought one in and it's not working for you, don't give up. They work very well. I'm going to go over what you get with the e-brush and I'm going to show you how it works. What you get is you get your e-brush air system, some hosing, hosing, and you here's your sprayer tool, and this has a nice little um, pocket here that your tool can sit in. You you also get with it um, a rechargeable battery kit, so you can use this without plugging it in. Um, I do like to use it plugged in but if you want to take this somewhere where you don't have any access to an outlet you can use it with the battery. You also get six adapter adapter tips to use your different pens and you can use uh, Copic markers, Spectrum Noir, Sharpies and it has to be this fine tip sharpie. There's, I know there's all kinds of sharpies but it just has to be this type otherwise they don't work. Um, these are the only alcohol markers that I have. Um, it also uses Prismacolor, uh, Chart Pack, and Tombow Dual Brush Pen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start off with a Copic marker. I'm going to move this over here and get some paper out just to kind of show you how it works. So what you have right here, this is the the button you're going to use to get the airflow going. But first of all, you need to put on one of your adapters to hold your pen. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a universal type adapter that you can use any marker. You can only use these six different types of markers with this. So what you have right here is kind of a plastic line where this is put together. And you may not be able to see it too well, but there is an arrow on this. Also, there's a little... Um, abbreviations of what type of what marker is for which one of these adapters. This says CP and there's even a picture of a Copic marker on it. So you're going to slide this on with your arrow lined up with this little mark, put it on there and twist it so that now your marker or sorry your holder is pretty snug on there. So now you're going to take your Copic and I don't know if you're used to using these or not but if you notice on these double tipped uh, alcohol markers, they usually have like a thicker line right here. That's going to be your pointed tip. And the one without the thicker line is going to be the chisel tip. And this is the one you're going to want to use with the e-brush. So you're going to slide it in here. And this is where you kind of do have to fiddly with it to, to get the flow to work. You need to if I can show you this. You need to make sure that that chisel tip is well over your air blower right here. So I'm going to start this up and see how it works. You have three different speeds and I hope this isn't too loud on me. So here is your frustration is you get nothing. So you kind of adjust it a little bit. And I'm still... There we go. Now we're getting some coloring from the Copic marker. I have it on the high speed right now. 
but it does come in two different speeds. I hope when I check this that you can hear me because this thing can make a little bit of noise. Um, I do like the effect from the Copics, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try a Spectrum Noir, so I'm going to need to take my tip off and then I will go ahead and put this adapter on, line my arrow up and twist it. Now when you start spraying an actual project, because you can see it took me a little fiddling with this to get it going, you need to test it out on a separate piece of paper first. I'm, not, I'm just showing you how the spray works, so I'm not actually uh, it, it yet have got to a project. And again, you can see here's the line. This is going to be my pointed tip. I want to use the chisel tip. Now, if you like Copics or you, sorry, if you use Spectrum Noirs, now I got that in. You can kind of see how that works on the tip. Now I'm going to, hopefully that's going to work, but again, you need to perhaps adjust a bit. Nope, it doesn't want to, so let's try to... Let's try to I'm still not quite getting the flow I'd really like. Getting a little bit, and uh, you do kind of have to. There we go. I'm getting some some flow with this. I'm gonna shut it off. Again, if you get one of these, it's a great tool, but but it can be a bit frustrating because you may not quite get the flow that you were hoping for, so you can adjust your tip. So now I'm going to show you the Sharpie Fine Point. And I'm going to put my Sharpie Fine Point adapter on. And I have this nice violet one. You do use, well there is only one tip on this, it's the pointy tip. So you're going to shove this in. Get a different piece of paper. And let's try this one. And you can see I get get quite a nice flow with this. There we go. Now, I've got Sharpies in a bunch of different colors, but what I do have, and hopefully I can grab this, I'm going to try this with one of my stencils. This is just a, a, a cardboard stencil. Happy U Day. I've got some uh, metallic colored Sharpies and I'm going to try to see if I can color this in. If you use your plastic stencils, you're going to discover that with your alcohol markers, the color is going to stay on your stencil. So if you're fine with that, go ahead. I know I have used some hand sanitizer. Sometimes that will get your um, Sharpie colors off. So I'm going to, I want to try to color this. I'm going to cover that up. And I taped this onto my black paper because I thought that might work. But again, Let's test it out. Oh, I've got a good, you can't see it, but I've got a good spray. So I'm going to I've got kind of the bronzy color. I'm going to see how this works. Okay, now I'm going to change my color. Um, and I'm going to use the silver. I guess that color I just used was more of a goldy color. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try to do this middle part right here. And test it out first. There we go. Whoops. Try this one. Ah! Alright, so that doesn't want to stay. We'll just try it this way. Now you 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 can just use this for coloring lace, ribbon, anything like that that you'd like to. Um you can use it on stencils, you can use this 
for uh, if you do any kind of uh, um, mixed media. It's, it's, it's great. Okay. Now I'm going to try my last color. Test it out here. Yep, that's working pretty well. This is a, a nice copper. So let's see what I get here. This one's really coming out well. Now the siphon system, which I will show shortly, really does a good job where you can use your sprays. to use that on your stencils also. You can use the siphon system for doing cake decorating and coloring your cakes. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Ah, I like it. Here we go. Happy you day. And again, I really do like my eBrush um, air spray system. It has lots and lots of uses. It's kind of fiddly. But once you get used to it, you're really, you're really going to like it. You can use it in, in an awful lot of ways. You can go on their website and have a look. Anyway, as usual, I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, contact me. Let me know. And happy crafting.